Hello VR shoppers, today we're going to be taking a look at discovering space on the Oculus Rift. It's a, well it's a solar system uh, educational explorer app, but there's a few differences uh, to normal. Um, we're going to be uh, going on a little tour around there, but also what you see and as you go around, there's also a free flight where you can pilot yourself around the entire solar system which is pretty cool. Now, there's benefits of each. On the tour that you're gonna see, we get an absolutely phenomenal flyby of the moon, which is just one of the best things I've ever experienced. And on free flight, you get so much more information about each planet and about the moons around the planet, and also a real appreciation of size and scale of the planets, which I quite like. So anyway, let's get onto the tour and uh show you what it's all about you got earth and the far side of the moon uh finding apollo uh jupiter and the galileo moons uh, in a planet short so let's go back i'm gonna uh, do this one and click on launch welcome we are about to embark on a fascinating journey around the planet that we call home earth and its moon, a natural satellite that has enthralled and captivated mankind since the beginning Earth of time. Earth and the moon, cool. Directly ahead is the small crescent of the moon. To the left you can see the Earth, and to the right you can see the bright sun. Let's dim the cockpit lights a little to get a clearer view. Okay. Cool, love the light in effect. Remember that you have a full 360 degree view around the entire ship and I invite you to look around to take as much in as possible so you can come out of your ship presently we are 180,000 cool. kilometers from earth check that out we will make that a short is so beautiful I love that before visiting the far side of the moon <laughs> that is awesome the earth is seen as a thin blue crescent God, I'm handsome. I love it. <laughs> wow. So let's go back in. As the crescent becomes more slender, the Ooh, predominant let's go back into my own head. Oh God, you see that? The mouth as well there. as providing the air that yeah, that's better. This atmosphere protects us from the cold and harshness of space. Look at the view. Lovely. Without this atmosphere. The Earth would be a frozen and lifeless Ooh, world. Put the egg back. As the sunlight is filtered through the atmospheric rim, the crescent turns the color of sunset. So beautiful. And a real appreciation, like I say, as for the we size fall as the well. Side of the Earth, we will see the sun slowly fade. If you are quick, you will catch a rare glimpse of the unlit moon, just visible within the glare of the oh, sun. Oh, yeah. Just see it. It's going. So now you get in the that frost the breath as well, which is really sun, cool. A really good effect. Drops, and we start to feel the love chill. it. Also, love the glass effect of of the cabin. It, you know, as it looks like I'm dark, under glass. We can see the vastness of the Pacific Ocean. Very realistic. The fair play. The continents faintly illuminating the fringes. Without the intensity of the sun, this is a perfect time to pause. Look around and contemplate just how many billions of stars are all around there us. There is a lot of stars left. This is a view you can never see from the surface of the Earth. Wow. Every point of light is a star much like our own sun. That's a lot of stars. Many of these stars are host to a solar system similar to our own, and some may contain Earth-like planets. Some may contain life. Yeah, but how many? And which ones? There uh, are very few city lights to be seen from space, but you may be able to spot the faint light of Hawaii in the center of the ocean. Hawaii? Cool. In a few moments we will emerge out of the cold Earth's shadow. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? You will notice the ice on the canopy. This 
has formed while we have been out of the sunlight. So as we now come round, illuminated as we emerge into light. That. That's amazing. We feel the warmth of the sun again. This will burn off the ice on our canopy in no time. Cool. There we go. So now the ice is going. And the earth beside me. <laughs> and I know it's, you can say it silly a thousand times, but it's just so big. It's just massive. As we move over the long it's islands of Indonesia, we head into the daylight side. I, I've never seen we can start such to make out the blue of the a, a detailed the solar system explorer app. It really is just incredible. You, you could, at points, you could just swear that you're actually Heading doing north this. over the Indian Ocean, we pass over Sri Lanka and India. Wow. You can almost make out the, the sort of depths of the mountains and that Observe as well. Observe the folded terrain of Pakistan, Afghanistan and Iran. You can see the roughness of the terrain. Persian Gulf in Saudi Arabia. There's the Dead Sea and that coming up. Cool. Russia to the north. The two large landlocked bodies of water are the Black Sea and Caspian Sea. And coming up. We are now over the north coast of coming Africa into and Europe. can see the entire Mediterranean, the islands of Greece and Boot of Italy. Over mainland and Europe. there we go. Spain, Wait, France, there I Germany, am. Hello, United Mom. Kingdom, and Scandinavia <laughs> to the north. Again, like I say, you Let's can climb see. Altitude and continue west over the Atlantic uh, Ocean. Sort of um, the roughness of the terrain. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't look like a flat image. We can now see the Caribbean and northern extent of South even America. Even depth, even uh, on the sort of decals of Earth, it's very, very clever. States is still I don't in feel like I'm looking at a picture on a flat ball at all. Wow. Note the relatively low population density <laughs> of Canada to the north. There's absolutely no one there. All the lights are there. Wow. So there you go. And we start to leave Earth. High over the North Pole, we can see the polar ice cap. This is formed from frozen sea ice and grows and retreats through the seasons. Cool. Let's leave Earth behind for a while and turn our attention to our moon, currently hidden in the glare of the sun. Where is it? As the moon passes directly between us and the sun, the intense brightness will be dulled for a moment, allowing us to see the unlit disk of the moon again. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. I didn't see that. Cool. Wow. As we swing toward the moon, it should become visible as a thin crescent over on the left. There it is, just coming over. There it is, just visible again and we can see it moving slowly against the backdrop of stars. Yeah. It looks tiny at the moment. The moon is locked to the Earth, such that as it orbits, it always keeps the same familiar face towards us. Cool. However, at different points through its orbit, it will have more or less of this side lit. And this is what causes the moon to go from a thin crescent to a full moon in the night sky. So as you can hear, it's uh, it's pretty educational as well. Wow, uh, you do get to learn quite a lot when you're not talking over a blessing. But very thin yeah, there's the so much to learn in, in this app, it really is. This journey will take us and as we start to come up uh, onto the moon, I'm already starting to see the, the depth and, and the details. Face, with 
that have gone into this. So it does. It's so hard to explain. It just looks, even from this Most distance, it looks crisis, just like a golf ball. You can see the uh, some of the dips, the some of the depths the of uh, the craters. But luckily, this app is going to take us one step the dark further. Circular region to the lower right is called Mare Oriental. We will fly in to get a closer look. Wow. Its outer ring is about 900 kilometers in diameter. It was originally formed from a very large impact crater, which was later flooded with volcanic lava during the formation of the moon. This is just amazing. This is how all the lunar maria have been formed. Their distinctive dark color is due to the basalt, or cooled lava, being much less reflective than the surrounding terrain. So as you start to come in, you can see we are that the terrain is shaped above the moon's surface, and we can and play back a recording of the Apollo astronauts. Gone into it just amazing detail. As we get closer, we can make out more clearly the mountainous terrain and the many impact craters. I, I've <laughs> just imagine the what the Apollo astronauts would have felt when they became the first humans to ever set on this. They field. were amazed, love, because. I know I'm in VR, but by to get a much closer it's look. amazing. Hold on. Just amazing. So as we come, uh, pan round. At this height, you now can see the mountains I can see uh, of the moon. much more Through detail, the like the depth of Earth. the mountains, the depth of the craters, the shadows, just. Everything is so so These good. Can be up to four kilometers high. A lot of people have done solar system exploration maps, a lot of people. At 20, but never has it been done like this even before. This altitude, never. The moon seems small. Just amazing. Even with the sun in the sky, we you could swear no the bright the moon. end of the Milky Way can be seen stretching out across the horizon. I just feel I could get out. Obviously, I might, I might die if it was in reality, but look at that. Just incredible. Let's head back up to a higher altitude to see more. Wow. And still, you can see Until the shaped the terrain. 50s, man's view of the moon was limited to just the side facing the Earth. Our side of the moon was first photographed by the Soviet probe Luna 3 in 1959, and at this point the Soviet Union was ahead in the space race. So again, uh, giving you so much uh, education craft throughout the 60s, for this. culminating in the Apollo program, which saw man land on the moon in 1969. But, amongst rising costs and diminishing public and political interest, the Apollo program ended in 1972. Man has not returned. Only unmanned probes have since visited. Well, but we now have I know there isn't much the on the moon. But I, I just love to fly by and then the terrain becomes much less I can imagine uh, the astronauts have landed this on it. Because the mountains and you know, are smaller, it was just something magical. The does not emphasize the slopes uh, unbelievable much. experience. And even at this height this now, I can when still see the, the shape of the terrain. Just incredible. The best time Amazing to see the mountains detail. And craters is when the moon is half lit. At full moon, very few detailed features are visible. Wow. However, even with the most powerful telescopes, the moon cannot be seen in its true detail due to the distortion of the Earth's atmosphere. It is only with the advent of lunar orbiters in the last decades that the moon's surface has been fully mapped. Amazing. So, the terrain is much more visible we're going to do our last here, little fly around the moon. Sense of the violent <laughs> the moon has suffered. I know, I know I've said it a thousand times in this 
in this gameplay, but the size of things you get is just amazing. You can really uh, appreciate our solar system so much more. It will appear directly ahead in about 30 seconds. And I think this uh, coming up view is just the perfect way to end it. Into a suitable position to take in the view. on this tiny blue ball. Fair play. Man's first time seeing That's this beautiful. And was from Apollo 8 just... on Christmas Eve 1968. <laughs> there you go. I think that is a, a beautiful way to end it, looking off over the earth. It really is. If, you know, if you like uh, doing these sort of... Uh, solar system exploration apps and planet explorer apps do download this it's definitely one of the best out there anyway i think that'll uh, just about so do it do home. please visit the website we link in the, the description box below for a full review time. and download links and please do click that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video us. whether you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down please do leave a comment in the box below it's your feedback is essential in helping this channel the grow. Blue rim of and as my breath gets planet, a bit colder, all life from the cold and I thank you for watching this video. And if you'd like to see more the white clouds over the and explore and more, of the weather cycle that brings the rain, then do download it. Look at that fly by. This app is freaking awesome. Directly <laughs> facing us, we can see the continent of Love Africa. it.